So last raid, we have the Mauld clear, Izuna clear, and Wakamo clear. But where's Esazusa? To understand why you haven't seen her much, let's go over a similar case. Racer, while her ex is similar to Natsu, she still can't replace her. But why? First we have her ex, while it also removes one day buff, similar to Natsu X. There's no healing. Instead she gets an offensive skill. It has a wide angle, double that of Momoi. All is good, until you realize she's just a normal tank. Not Tsuruji kind of tank. Moving to her basic skill, it activates every 50 seconds. And at three star, she heals for a total of 15k HP. It's a bit lower than Natsu, which gives 16k heal. The main difference here is you can't control races heal. So sometimes she'll die randomly. And since her basic heals, you won't get the damage buff from Natsu's basic. So rip high score clear. In short, get Natsu if you want a casual tank for Pororid Zilla. She has all the things you need for a comfy high score clear, including cleanse or day buff removal. You saw this mechanic in the last event challenge stage, where you can remove the card day buff with Mori. In the end, it doesn't matter much as you can brute force the stage. However, if you don't remove the laser day buff in Parazilla, it will inflict a defense penetration day buff on your student. So unless your tank is really thick, they won't live long after the laser. Besides Natsu and Racer, there are only two other students right now that can remove day buff, which is Mori and Shinatsu at EX3. Well, technically, you can also use Utaha to bait the laser. Or use he for me extra bait as well. Note that you are basically using to students to deal with this day buff. So if you use Mari, you can't bring both Oko and Himari. And if you use he for me, you can't bring Lui and Lui Yerkaika. Plus in Torment, you actually lose damage. If you can't clear the laser day buff, therefore, having Natsu or Racer is basically having to students in one. Compared to Natsu, Racer sub skill is superior, which gives defense reduction and taunt. In practice, this taunt can mostly cancel enemy skill. As you can see, one second taunt is really short, and the defense reduction is only 11.4%, which is lower than Akane and Mean EX. At least the defense reduction affects multiple enemies and it's stackable with other students. As you can see here, first we have Akane and Racer X, then Maki's basic skill, so three stacks day buff in total. In case you don't know how day buff stackings works, you can only stack them if the debuffs come from different skills. From the previous example, first we have X skill day buff, then Maki basic, then Racer Soul. That's why there are stackable. This rule also apply for stacking buff skills. Therefore, don't use Imari X, then Iwi X, because these attack buffs are both from the same source. As you can see here, first I give Hoshino one attack buff with Iwi, since Imari X doesn't stack, it overwrites Iwi's skill. So Hoshino only has one attack buff. If you use Iwi's skill after Himari, then your students only get 16% attack up. So if you want to use both of them, you need to use Ui's skill first, then Himari. Back to Racer. She can do a bit of everything, except healing. But you can probably see a pattern here. She's a light version of other tanks. So she can't replace other tanks in their specialties. Take me knee for example. She can pull enemies. And apply not two, but four debuffs with her skills. In case you don't know, you want Greg to have 5 to 6 debuffs in Insane for a faster clear. Since Greg periodically debuffs itself, Mini can keep the boss at 5 debuffs consistently. Racer only has one day buff, and it's only for 25 seconds, so she'll need help from students like Samasaki to reach 5 debuffs. In short, Racer is good as a second tank. If you want to clear insane or torment with more than one team. Moving to PvP, 
She seems pretty good on the attack side. But season 6 just starts this week, so we need more time to evaluate her performance. In season 5, Racer is not that useful. That's because she uses a bag, so her survivability is similar to Hoshino if you invest in her. And since season 5 map is wide, she's mostly effective against heavy armor students. Once you understand Racer skill, you'll get why you haven't seen Esazusa recently. Her attack is much lower than Wakamo and Maiderice. Her X damage is also split into two, like Wakamo, so her damage multiplier won't be as high as Maiderice. The reason why some players recommend pulling her is because of her damage and the chill day buff. If you don't know what the chill day buff is, once your opponent receive this day buff, they will receive damage over time. This damage cannot crit. Yes, here we go again. But what this description doesn't tell you is, this chill damage cannot be evaded. So you can use it to deal with evasion tank. Another student that have this day buff is Esiori. She is red damage, so her chill is more effective against Marina or Yuka. But as you can see, Tsuboki HP is slowly going down. This day buff was also useful in firing Drill 13, where many status effects can deal 70,000 damage for free. But most of the new drills doesn't require it. Esazusa sub skill is similar to Racer, that's why she's used to be a good pull. Since she is also a limited student, you can pull her if you want to. However, considering how OP Mika is, you probably won't need S Azusa defense day buff. Unless you're struggling in team one of God's insane, or want to clear torment rates, then it's fine to skip her. Similarly for Kazusa, she's only used in high school urban clear, so you can skip her if you play casually. And speaking of casual, you can clear Chi's torment easily now, as long as you're willing to run three to four teams or have all the students below to two teams. Technically, you can also run the UE team, but it's just not as comfy without Kakona heal. While team one is pretty easy with three students and Chirino. Therefore, you can skip SC for me too. Next event is a gacha box event. So just buy whatever you need. Just remember to buy 50 Natsu Elephs in case we get another free farm event. As for S. Mashiro, it's fine if you skip her, but if you want to invest in a PvP student, check out the meter changes section in this video next.